Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana. If you are new here, if you exist in fam, hey girl, hey, you already know what we here for, okay? We here to beat that face. We here to get it popping for the spring, all right? But guess what? Makeup Revolution came up with, look, it came up with a Lion King edition. And oh my God, I just melted when I went in Target and saw this because who don't like the Lion King? Yeah. yeah. All I remember when I was a little girl is just watching it over and over again. Of course, I cried on some parts, but y'all know what part I'm talking about. But who do not like the Lion King? And look at these beautiful colors that they have on here. This was such an easy look to do. And these colors complement my skin so well. So I am going to show you guys how I get this beautiful look and how I use this palette. And make sure you hit a thumbs up if you like this video. Also, make sure you locked in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know the next time I put out a new video. And what's the next spring look I should do for you guys? Because I got to get you ladies spring ready. So you guys let me know what is the next color I should put on these lids right here. So without further ado, you guys, let's get into it. All right, you guys. So for the second time, I already did my eyebrows and I set my lids with paint pots by MAC Painterly. And we're gonna go right into this beautiful palette. You guys, they have gorgeous colors. So the first color we're gonna dip in today using my Morphe brush is Pumba. This is like a brown, a dark brown color. And I am going to tap this into my outer corner and then we're gonna buff those edges out. Remember, we want a seamless look. So we're gonna buff those edges out so we can place the next color right next to it. And just as a reminder, I purchased my eye brushes from Morphe. So next, using my next brush, which is a Morphe brush, and I am going to dip into I'm Home. And this color is more like a burnt yellow, like a dark yellow color. And we're gonna place this right next to Pumba and spread that all the way out until we hit the inner corner of our eye. And so for the next color, I am going to grab a flat brush by Morphe and we're gonna dab right into Kingdom. I use one of my concealer brushes because it helps me kind of carve out that cut out crease a little bit better and you're gonna pack this on until you see the color pay off but we're not gonna fill it out all the way we're just gonna go midway so next we're gonna go into my elf flat brush and we're gonna tap into sunrise this is gonna give that sunset color and we're gonna tap that right in between that green color that I had and then Pumbaa which is the brown color on the other end and remember I want you guys to marry it together so we're gonna dab back and forth between both colors until we get an ombre look so next I'm gonna go in with NYX Professional Makeup On The Rise Volume Lip Mascara. You guys, this mascara is so bomb. I have grown a new love for this one and this was really affordable. It was like $8 if I'm not mistaken from Target. So don't sleep on drugstore makeup products, y'all. They get it done. So next I'm going to my Il Maquillage Eyeliner and this is also a favorite of mine. And I am going to draw on a small, not so big or dramatic um, liner. I just want enough where it can show a little bit of a sting on the side of my eye, just to give a look because my lash is probably gonna cover it up. But we're gonna start off on the end and then I'm gonna draw inward and we're gonna do a really nice strip. Always remember, I try to tell everyone that practice makes perfect. So it's okay if you don't get it right in the very beginning. Just if you continue keep practicing, you will get a perfect line. So next I'm gonna grab my Beauty Supply Lash, yes, for like what, $3? And then I'm going in with my IMV by Kiss super strong hold and I'm going to place that on the lash and you leave the glue on for about six seconds then place it right on your eyelid and you're going to position it but then use your tweezers to kind of join your actual lash in with the glue on the actual strip and voila so next I'm going to grab you guys my beauty blender and this is by Real Techniques 
and we're gonna make sure it's damp and dab right into my elf poreless primer you guys this is the bomb primer when I say it helps blur out all of the texture and it also fills in if you have any pores and you're going to buff this out on all your t-zones and any areas that you have a little bit of texture and then spoof it out right before putting on your foundation that is a must and by the way you can get this sponge from Target I know y'all I'm the Target Queen so but you know what else you can get from Target yep this L'Oreal Paris infallible pro matte foundation you guys this is my favorite I got this in the color soft sable 111 from Target and guess what you guys it is sweat proof it's transfer resistant and it is a medium to high coverage so when I say I was sleeping on full coverage foundation and then I found this and oh my goodness I have a little bit of pigments that still trying to heal from my acne bumps but this helps me until I get to clear clear skin so if you want something that is a medium to high coverage this is the trick right here this is the bomb a bomb foundation to use and so I dab it on and I blend it out going outward because you want to put the more heavier amount on the inner part of your face and then work your way out all right you guys this is also one of my favorites this is tart shape tape and the color tan sand but the one thing about this concealer is it will dry out on you so you got to make sure you work it real fast girl make sure that you have a damp beauty blender um, lately my favorites has been like the mini beauty blenders because they allow me to stay precisely in the highlighted area and one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to drag the highlight down because it makes your face look a little bit droopy so this is a perfect technique is to get the real techniques mini they normally have them like a four pack target or any of your local stores I'm sure you can find them there so I don't know about you guys but I remember when I was a little girl loving the Lion King I think that was one of the best Disney stories that Disney came up with only because it was so good the music was amazing throughout the whole entire movie and I think adults and kids could watch it so when I created this look I definitely wanted to do the sunset color because I just remember being a little girl and watching all of the colors the bright shades throughout the entire movie just draw my attention and so the sunset part and then some of the times that Simba would come in and the dad would say everything that the sun shine on, this will be our land. Everything the light touches is our kingdom and will rise with you as the new king. And this will all be mine? And that was one of the staple pieces that I wanted to do and why I wanted to do this eyelid. And it came out so beautifully. So I hope you guys love this look. If you do, make sure you hit a thumbs up. And make sure if you have not seen The Lion King yet, Please, you want to go watch that with your babies, with your nieces, nephews, with your family. It is such a great movie to watch together as a family. So now that I've finished my concealer, I'm going to go right back in with my old beauty blender and take the leftover foundation. And we are going to marry that edge together so it can come out looking flawless. Now I'm going to go in with my translucent powder by Laura Mercier. And I am going to place this in all my highlighted areas. This is a really good setting powder because it is definitely finely milled, meaning it's not thick at all. You can barely feel it on the skin. And then I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques uh, brush and I'm just going to dab the excess powder off. So another great trick that I use powder for is when I want to use it as a shield for any fallout from my eyeshadow. So I place a thin layer up under my eye and that way any fallout from my top lid or smoking my eye out, it will not mess up my entire foundation. So not only did they come up with a awesome eye palette, but they also came up with a trio eyeliner. And so you know I had to use the pink because I thought it matched perfectly. So I am just gonna place this pink color on my lower waterline and I'm gonna fill this in until I get a little bit of a color payoff. A great idea to make your eye look come out even more beautifully is taking a complete different color and using that as a under eyeliner to make your look look completely different. So next I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear and this is a foundation powder that I'm going to use and I'm using my BH Cosmetics brush and this is in the number three. So this is a really good foundation powder especially when you want to bring the warmth back to your face. One of the things that I love about this powder and also the foundation that I'm using today they are both great for the summertime you definitely want to have a sweat proof and also a powder foundation 
for the summertime for to help combat the sweat that you get from the heat and being hot outside. So I definitely recommend this. Next, I'm going in with the KKW Beauty by Kim K. Yes, I'm going to be lining my lips in an ombre look. And this is a number three nude lip liner. I love this lip liner. When I say it is the perfect shade for me, I have to find another staple one, but you guys know this is my utmost favorite. Also, this is a really creamy liner. They did they thing with this formula, so kudos to them. So this is an oldie but a goodie. This is Max Limited Edition. It's called Smarticle. This is like a medium warm tone color. It's like a copper tone, and this color is suitable for all skin complexions, so I love this color. This is still my top favorite, y'all. The Morphe setting spray you cannot beat it the big bottle is like $16 but the small mini one is like $10 when I say my favorite so another one of my favorites is Anastasia Beverly Hills sunset or a color and this is their loose highlighter when I say I pop this in my inner corner my nose and my cupid's bow and it comes out so pretty every time so another thing I love about this highlighter is that it's great for all skin tones. So this is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, you guys, this is the finishing product. It came out so beautiful. And there is other looks that I definitely want to do with this palette right here. You guys make sure you go to Target and check out Makeup Revolution and pick up that Lion King palette. And without further ado, you guys, make sure you hit a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because you definitely know when the next time I put out a video and until next time.